A really big problem when you're running YouTube ads is tracking attribution and figuring out what the actual numbers are. And one, the first place to start is Google Ads versus Google Analytics and why those two are different. So understanding this is really important. So, number one, Google Ads actually takes into impact uh, what happens when somebody views your ad but doesn't click through. Because what will happen with YouTube ads is less people will click through, but they will open up a new tab and search for your product. Or they will be reminded of your product and then you know, search for it later. But they, in many cases, they don't want to click through because you're on YouTube, you're about to do something, you don't want to interrupt it directly. And people have this impression that if they click on an ad, they'll get taken away from what they're doing, when in reality, it's a new tab. Because of this, people will basically click through some of the time, but there's a lot of action being driven that's not being calculated by that. Um, and this is actually something that a lot of advertisers have seen where, you know, if you're running YouTube ads at scale, your organic traffic goes way up, uh, your sales go way up, but you know, in Google Analytics, the numbers don't look impressive, which is which makes sense because you know people won't directly click through. So that's like one really important thing to keep in mind, and that's where um, you should keep in mind that Google Analytics only looks at when people click and then actually land on uh, on the website, right? And then there are other things with Google Analytics as well, because when you're inside Google Analytics, there's different attribution models. And if you look at last click, a lot of times people will click on a paid ad and then you know, search for it again and then finally complete the purchase. And we often, when we look at different attribution models inside Google Analytics, we'll see that, oh man, this attribution model shows 70% more, more sales, this attribution model shows way less sales. So it's important to understand how that works and how that affects your data. Um, because, you know, for example, we, we've had clients where they're like, hey, our Google Analytics data shows that these ads aren't working, while in Google Ads they show the data is way more different and the data shows the ads are working. So you kind of have to be aware that, hey, like, it's not exactly like uh, Google Analytics doesn't do the best job of truly measuring the impact of video ads, right? Because most of the action is going to be on uh, people are going to watch the video and search through organic, or they're going to click on a display retargeting ad, they're going to click on a branded search ad, and so on. Um, that's actually a big reason why we recommend our clients run branded search ads if they're running YouTube ads, because people will start searching for their brand and you want to have that branded search. So with YouTube, you're always going to be kind of getting a little bit more, uh, you're going to be driving more retargeting traffic through that, right, and more search traffic. Uh, so this is really important because then, you know, a platform like Facebook where people are scrolling through the newsfeed, they're kind of bored and they will click through at a higher rate and the cost per clicks are going to be lower. And then in Google Analytics, that's actually going to look a lot better because, you know, they're clicking on that directly, but you're not, you're comparing apples to oranges, right? Like, um, it's not a fair comparison. So I kind of, uh, with Google Ads, because it does take into impact the view through con conversions and the view through uh, actions that happen. We usually prefer to look at Google Ads data versus Google Analytics data when it comes to YouTube video campaigns. Uh, and then there's so many things that can happen with Google Analytics where if you have a little redirect, your data is gone and it's re re reported as direct traffic. If you have some minor issue, it's reported as direct traffic. There's a whole lot of articles about this. So you have to be careful with it. Google Analytics is super powerful if you learn how to use it, but just be careful with it because there are um, there are a lot of things that can mess that data up and you have to make sure that your setup is completely clean. Now, with Google Ads, uh, the, your data can be also kind of unclear. Um, so what we started doing before was having unique funnels for YouTube ads because then we can see the exact impact driven by people who directly click on the funnel. Um, but obviously there are technical challenges with that. You need to make sure the email automations also send them back to the same funnels. Otherwise, you know, that's gonna lead to more mudding of the data. And then those funnels will not capture it. Uh, the impact that happens when somebody clicks on your funnel and then gets retargeted by another ad that takes them to another funnel and then they purchase on that funnel, right? Like that can also happen. So now what we started doing is we're using Google Click IDs where it basically every ad passes along this parameter and then it's captured inside the uh, CRM. Um, and then whenever they do purchase through whatever funnel, it will have that uh, information and we you know, kind of match it up, upload it to Google, and we can see like how many purchases actually happened from Google Ads um, when people click through. 
even if it's on a different funnel or different kind of uh, the main website. The only challenge with that is extremely, it's extremely technically difficult to do. Uh, we're figuring that out right now with info product funnels and uh, once we do figure it out, we'll put it inside our course. Uh, but yeah, hopefully this gives you guys an idea of the complexity of tracking and gives you some ideas on what to do. My practical suggestion would be is have a unique funnel and use that as your main uh, information, right? Like have a unique funnel and use Google Ads. Um, then if you look at the data from that unique funnel inside ClickFunnels or wherever it is, Shopify or uh, so on, and then you look at the idea of uh, data from Google Ads, that's much more accurate than let's say looking at data from Google Analytics when making decisions for Google Ads. So yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. If you like this kind of content, uh, please be sure to subscribe and comment. And um, yeah, definitely check out my course, link below, which goes way more in depth into you know all everything YouTube ads. And yeah, have a great day. Cheers. With our feet on the ground, and we will talk with our